I'm Steve Gidman, president of Fortress Technology. Fortress Technology designs, develops, manufactures food safety, consumer safety inspection equipment. We sell into uh, at least 60 countries at this point in time. Wherever there's a reasonably developed food industry, we will follow. Fortress's core beliefs in, in machinery building is to make things extremely robust, high performance, but easy for everybody to understand and, and use. X-ray technology um, has, has this great promise and it does some fantastic things. Uh, it will not generally outperform a metal detector on most metals. You still need a metal detector first. The X-ray then brings some additional capabilities. Sometimes on certain metal shapes and types, it's, it will outperform the metal detector, but it also brings in you know, other dense contaminants. So when we speak about x-ray and contaminant detection, it's a little bit different than metal detectors. It's very much density based. So different types of contaminants have different densities. So between uh, metal contaminants, bone, dense plastics, stone, ceramics, glass, all sorts of things. They all have their own densities, which their detectability depends on what product that they're compared to as well. You should never replace a metal detector with x-ray. Those People who have gone down that route, and we see it all the time for years, um, they eventually will bring, be bringing back a metal detector because they realize that a lot of their contamination that they used to detect with a metal detector cannot be found with an x-ray machine. It's a bit of an eye-opener. Fortress does offer all of these inspection capabilities. One of our features of our new Icon X-Ray is, is it be able to integrate other technologies within the same footprint. So check weighing, uh, metal detection, and possibly vision all in the same enclosure. In the industry, there's a great movement, of course, to cost savings and uh, the footprint of equipment. So having that, uh, it, the value of various inspection technologies into one cabinet, we can reduce that overall footprint into uh, the Icon itself. We have the ability to add camera systems or shielded viewing windows, which is not so common in the marketplace to be able to watch your product transition through an x-ray system. Um, they usually have stainless steel or shielded doors. So now we're able to view inside the system. So essentially with the viewing windows or especially the camera system, the camera systems can be viewed from anywhere in the plant or on a computer from somewhere else. So you can monitor the operation and your production flow through the system without having to have uh, an operator or any personnel standing there watching it go through. There's value to be brought by combining the different technologies together. Um, some of that value comes in a smaller footprint, right? You can get more out of uh, your factory floor space, um, but also the data that you can pull together from combining both devices. In our systems, all events that happen are usually tied to settings, so all this can be pulled up to aid in any food safety investigation and also um, provide you insights into where things are, are deficient and where improvements can be made. Having a good food safety program and using the technology fully um, can provide data that can actually add a lot of value and, and cost savings to the end user. The ICON, we also have the ability in the room in the system to add into the cabinet additional inspection technologies. So we can refer to uh, weighing, as in check weighing, vision systems, and even metal detection within the x-ray cabinet itself without having to radically alter the shape of the cabinet and any approvals that need to follow that. You know, our goal is to make things simple to use. Um, that's what we've always done with the metal detectors. That's what we've done with the check wares. Um, and that's what we're, we're also doing with the x-ray systems. Um, we know that they can be notoriously complicated with a lot of settings. Um, we're trying to automate all of that to make it very simple. With a few inputs, a few product specifications, um, the x-ray system will actually do an auto setup on everything else and optimize the performance um, without, without much uh, other input from any operators. You know, if you can use a standard smartphone, you should be able to walk up to the icon and use it. That was the idea behind the programming of the system. So. Uh, between automated setup and the amount of available parameters that are pretty narrow nowadays. The system can do a lot itself and suggest parameters that might need to be changed over time, but it requires much less intervention by operators and other users um, throughout production runs and throughout its setup. The ease of setting up the system and the ease of maintenance throughout running it um, was really the concentration on how to develop an HMI and how to develop 
um, detection algorithms that can monitor and suggest setup, but also monitor throughout production how they could be tweaked to achieve either better performance or uh, longevity of the system itself. Fortress has been building and designing industrial equipment for the food industry for decades, so there's no reason to change that. But the ability to use machine learning in the development of our algorithms has been a huge leap forward. Now able to simulate full production runs of hundreds of thousands of products by characterizing a sample group of products. So being able to do that, we can uh, receive test product from customers, analyze variations in that product and how it might change in a production run, and apply that to an exponential number of products and run it through our system to ensure that uh, our detection performance is exactly where we expect it to be over the lifetime of the equipment. So we took it upon ourselves to, to introduce this uh, Never Obsolete program where we will make sure that we can support everything we've ever built. We have a lot of machines spread out throughout the world and our service network is really a network. So we have in North America probably 20 locations alone uh, and then everywhere where we manufacture and our distributors throughout Europe uh, throughout Asia, uh, South America, they're all trained to do all of that frontline service. And most of our service people are within driving distance of our customers. It's, it's pretty rare that we really need to fly anywhere. And that, of course, brings down the cost of the, to the customer of support and, and the speed of response. So here we are out in our X-ray testing development area. We have a few different versions of the ICON X-ray system here. Our test validation loop and a closed off radiation area so that we can test our systems, ensure their safety, and put them through entire production runs without them ever having to leave our building. So with the ICON, we're able to automate product setup and ease the usability of the system in initial startup using software to recommend product settings to optimize contaminant detection and performance of the system over its lifetime. So this particular ICON has full stainless shielded access panels, which is why we have uh, the option for an internal view status camera, which we can see as the second HMI. We have three views of our camera to see the in-feed, x-ray, and reject areas, so we can track our products through the system and have a visual of uh, how the product is being handled inside our shielded cabinet. Here we're gonna have an example of the icon suggesting parameters through our auto setup program and today we're going to be setting up a cheese product. So through our product setup, we can have pack detection, pack setup, detection setup, and our full. So we have a full setup procedure that the system will walk through to learn your product and suggest detection parameters to optimize your performance of the system. In this example, we're passing approximately 10 to 15 uh, rounds of cheese through. And you can see as the system carries through its learning process, the status bar indicates uh, how far it's come and we'll change color uh, with that indication. So now we're in green as it learns better the packs. And the greater number of packs passed, the system continues to learn. And we can run as many packs as we want through this process to allow it to fine tune and suggest appropriate settings. So our setup is now complete and we're able to start production. But of course, of course, we would test our samples to ensure that we are at the appropriate level of detection and carry on running. So here we're gonna run a pack with contaminants, we ensure the contaminants that we expect to be detected are detected, and we repeat our process as part of our QA procedure would suggest. The red marks that we're seeing on the screen would be uh, reject and contaminant components that we're identifying on the HMI. So those packs would be marked as a reject and removed from the production line. So this icon that we have here has the shielded glass viewing window, so you can see live what's happening inside your system and watch uh, production while remaining safe from any x-ray scatter radiation because they are shielded windows. So the Icon x-ray systems have a 360 degree view status beacon on them, um, which shows the status of the x-rays, QA test, and a reject in bin. Once rejects are removed from the bin, the light will turn off and only turn on again for that amber indicator that we have a reject present in the bin now. So the Icon X-ray system has a category four safety circuit with all interlock access panels that when any panel is open, of course X-rays seize, energy is removed from all mechanical devices 
and the HMI indicates which panels have been opened and which interlocks um, have been opened up as well. So it's a guidance to be able to reset the system to begin operating when expected to do so. The usual reaction from our customers is, wow, it's awesome. Um, being able to walk up to an x-ray system can be daunting. So we wanted to make it a little bit more approachable. Of course, the safety is always the paramount. Um, however, being able to use the system in a safe way without needing an engineering degree or weeks of training was really the focus there. So we should be able to have um, operators, maintenance personnel, or people throughout a plant walk up to our system and quite quickly be able to operate it and get the maximum performance out of it without much intervention after that. The future for Fortress is, is to continue to develop the technologies we've ha we have. Uh, we, we have three or four new uh, technologies coming in the next three or four years um, that will change the way that we operate and bring us into, into new areas uh, of our industry, still within food safety. Uh, and still with our with consumer product safety, but quite a, quite a few new technologies which will stretch us, no doubt, but uh, we have to grow.